guys, welcome to First Buzz. This is a very big video. This is my 500th video here on YouTube. So I just want to say thank you so much for being so supportive throughout the years. I'm going to do a different video for it, but since it's Tip Thursday, I wanted to actually upload the Thursday tip video. But please stay till the end because BeautyTicket.com and I are going to be giving out a really exciting prize of a whole bunch of YSL products. So stay till the end for that, and right now I'm going to show you my tip. questions about my Paramore shirt. I actually got that along with this shirt right here, which is, I'm sorry, my, I'm supporting my friend here. It's J. Kim. You can see that. It's a fun shirt. So I bought this online. So actually you can get this shirt and I'll have a link right here so you can see. So you can get the Paramore shirt. You can get the J. Kim shirt. I think it's fun. It's, I wear it for a pajama shirt. It's really comfortable and it's like bright yellow. So anyway, today I want to talk about graduation. So I graduated back in 2004 and when I did, I had a graduation cap that was a little different than everyone else's. And actually it was so different, not like super over the top, it was but unique it was enough where I was actually in the school paper. Not because of graduation or anything like that. It was because of my cap. And looking back, I do wish I kept that article, but I didn't and I couldn't find it online. But anyway, I had a cap like this and I decorated the top because there were so many you know, students that are graduating, it's really hard for your friends and family to find you. So of course, when you do this, or if you do do this, make sure that it's okay with your school because you don't want to get kicked out or anything like that. But what I did was, I didn't ask anybody, I just did it because the product that I used peeled off really easily. So here's my simulated graduation cap that I got at Michael's. It's not as cool as my original, but that's okay. And I got some of this stuff. This is felt, and it actually has like a sticky side on the back. And what I did was, I, I'll have to find my graduation pictures and I'll show you. It's all at my parents' house, so I can't show you right now. But I had this pink shirt on, and it was like an A-line, it had one strap that went over the neck and it was like, and it was angled, so there's like chunks of green and pink, like this. And so I matched my cap to match my shirt. I know, not very surprising of me. Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you how to decorate your cap. So what I did, of course, so what I did, and of course you can do whatever you want, is to decorate however you want it to be. All I did was something very simple, was that I put a peace sign right here, and then I put UT. So peace out, and a little flower. And so, you know, my friends can see me, my friends can see me, they're like, oh yeah, there's Elisa, you know, way over there with her bright colors. And you can put like rhinestones, you can put all kinds of stuff on here. So you can really stand out when you've got to just kind of look like everyone else. And I kind of, I don't really like to do that all the time, you know, sometimes you want to be unique, you want to show off your style. And so, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what I like to do is I like to take all these little sticky things off. I got this at Michael's Craft Store, and you can get this, it's like a dollar. And what you do is you could just draw a circle right here, and you can cut it out. Since sometimes I like to be unique, I don't want to make it all perfect, I'm actually just going to eyeball it, and I'm going to cut my circle, and this is going to be for my piece part. There you go. Then I'm going to draw my little peace sign in here. The best thing to do is draw on the back side of it so that you don't have it showing when you cut it. Or what you could do is you could take a smaller circle and put it on the inside. Just so you guys can see. There's my little peace sign. But you put another little circle cup inside and then you could just trace around it. You could do whatever you want. You don't have to do a peace sign. You could do flowers. You could do your name. Whatever is more you. And then I'm just going to fold this over and cut it. You could spray glitter, whatever, rhinestones and flowers. There's all kinds of unique things that you could buy that fit your personality. Maybe you like swimming. Maybe you want to buy like little things that they have at Michael's Craft Store that represents, you know, what sport you did, basketball, baseball, whatever. Whatever it is that you did. Again, you know, make sure it's okay so that you don't get kicked off the field. Okay, now that I have my peace sign, I'm going to have the U and the T next. And what I want to do is I'm going to put that in pink. You do whatever color, every other color, rainbow color, which is probably, I'd say, my preference. But since I'm going to match it like my shirt that I have, I'm going to do letters now. 
Again, you can eyeball it, you know, you can trace something that you like, some letters, you could print it out on the computer if you want to make sure that it's like perfect and symmetrical. See, a little high heel. Okay, so I have my letters. And then the next thing I did was I made a flower. So I took the green and I made a centerpiece with a little circle. And then I made five teardrops with pink. And again, I'm just going to eyeball it, like I said, so you can make cut pieces like this. So you can see that one. One, two, three, four, and five. And so they're kind of the same size, so you can eyeball that and just cut it. And then you're going to make five teardrops. Okay, now that you have your petals, you can start sticking it on your cap. So. I'm going to wear my cap like this, and it's going to be facing this back part right here. So I'm going to have it going across right here, and then maybe the flower right here. So I'm just going to peel the back of this. This is the best part is that it's already sticky. So easy. So I'm going to kind of angle it. And then put my U on there. And that right there. And the flower, I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it. This is like stuck right here. I think this is like a party hat. It's not it's not like a real cap. You can get this at got this at Michael's for like three or four dollars. Didn't have a coupon that day. Alright, I'm gonna finish up my little flower and I'll be back. Ta-da! So now I have my cap, and I'm telling everybody, and it's like, peace out. Everyone can find you. You're unique out of a sea of everyone wearing cap and gowns. And just say congratulations, beautyticket.com, and I are going to have a contest. Now this contest is open to everybody. It's international. So down below in the comments, I want to know what has been your greatest accomplishment in the past four years. Just what is your greatest accomplishment in life? Now these are going to be the purple products for the YSL and then as you can see right here and another opportunity to win another set of YSL products from beautyticket.com is if you go to perspice.com I'll have a link in the bottom and we'll be giving away the goddess the bronze goddess set which is also another beautiful set and all the information is on perspice.com good luck thank you so much for being so supportive for the last 500 videos 500 and then some videos and i will see you guys later thanks again for joining me at perspice.com bye so real quick i just realized these new brushes that i got match my shirt like exactly so that was kind of fun these are brushes these are antibacterial brushes that you can get off of amazon and it's the delium tools and these are actually like face brushes and they have like a lot of comparables to mac so I just got them today, and they're really soft, and they feel really nice. But I just wanted to show you they match. Matchies, matchies. So be on the lookout for that review, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!